Six of the ten rounds are complete. Scott Domey starting to open up a little daylight, but the surprise story so far is the showing of 15-year-old Chris Mantia. This is one of Chris's make-or-break dives here. I watched him this morning in practice. He was having a little problem. It's a front three-and-a-half somersaults tuck. What he's going to need to do in the middle of this dive is look for the water so he can put one of his patented entries on the bottom of the dive. Missed it just a little bit there. Maybe that's that's uh, a little inexperience on his part. The start of this dive looked okay, although maybe it was spinning a little bit slowly, but he made the mistake I was just talking about. As he comes around right here, he needs to be looking for the water, but he is not looking. He's looking down a little bit, as you can see. He's picking up some splash on the bottom of that dive. Well, the first chink in young Chris's armor showing up on that dive. Let's go down to Randy Hall now with Chris's coach. Thank you, Tom. Dave Bergering, did you realize when Chris started with you that you had such a prodigy on your hands? Well, I don't think I did at the time, but he's turned into a great diver and uh, see what he can do today. You told me that about a week ago you said to him, the worst you can do, Chris, there are 12 divers, is place in 12. Little did he know or you know that he'd be in second right now. Well, that's true. He's doing a great job. I think before the contest started, I said, if you could place 12th, how happy would you be? And he said he'd be real happy. And I says, well, you can't place any worse than that. So. He's doing a great job. Barcelona's next? Yeah, I think we've got to shift gears now and try to get him qualified for the trials and see what happens. Good luck. Thanks. Diving's future. Back to you, Tom. Perhaps it is diving's future. Michelle, what does he have to do to qualify for the Olympic trials? According to United States diving rules, Chris Mantia or any of these divers need to place in the top eight at two national championships in between Olympics. Patrick Jeffrey in third place. Back three and a half. A very important dive for Patrick Jeffrey. Did a bit there too. No one right now, with the exception of maybe Scott Doney, really wants to clinch this victory. That dive looked just great off the start. He's spinning very quickly. Good, strong jump. Look how tight his tuck is. Comes around. When he kicks out, he pulls. See the arch in his back? He's pulling that dive over, and it wasn't necessary. And there he is talking to Ron. And not very good scores for Patrick Jeffrey trying to move up from that third spot. He may have trouble holding on to his place. Edward Morse. He's a surprise in the hunt, 20 years old, currently fourth place. Ed Eddie's got a big dive, inward three and a half tuck. I've seen him drill this dive. Again, little problem. His problem started right on the takeoff of that dive. You'll see his hips start sliding backwards on the takeoff. This dive has to be done up and over the platform. Instead, he's sliding a little bit back. What happens is you end up a little bit short and a big splash on the bottom. Here in the final four dives, are we seeing the pressure start to take hold? I think so. You're into the thick of competition right here. This dive, Pat Evans told me, was his Keystone dive. This is it right here. It's going to pull him up or it's going to drop him down. Reverse three and a half tuck. The hardest degree of difficulty dive on the 10 meter platform. Ninth place, a disappointing showing so far for the defending champ. to jump away from the platform and yet get that rotation going to be able to make three and a half somersaults in only 10 meters of space. His coach looks happy there. Well, we talked about the pressure and Pat Evans has been there before. He's been a national champion and he is applying the pressure now to this man, Scott Doney, who is the leader after the first six rounds. Scott will be doing the exact same dive we just saw Pat Evans do. I've seen Scott drill this dive as well. This is very important that he just continue chipping away and holding on to this lead. Reverse three and a half tuck, degree of difficulty, 3.4. Out of 3.5, the maximum. He needs to get the right jump 
on the takeoff. just slow. I don't think his takeoff was quite what Scott wanted. It's a little bit too low and it's moving out here. This dive needs to be up here. This dive needs to be right up in this area. You can see he's moving out and the dive is slow to begin with. That dive, unfortunately, was gone from the beginning. Well, Scott told us he knows when he does a dive what his score will be within a point and a half. And wasn't too happy with those scores. That'll jeopardize his uh, spot. Scott Doney, not good scores, but still holding on to first place as the field narrows a bit. Bertram moves up into second. Pat Evans, with a big dive, comes from ninth to third. <laughs> 